Guess what's coming up? If you love Christmas, stay tuned for our Christmas gift guide. Everyone, ready to take a photo for our annual Christmas card? Mike's been picking out Jessica's present for weeks. Well, not the present itself. He knew exactly what Jess was dreaming of. She'd been dropping annoying little hints all year. So Mike decided to add in a little something straight from his prank-ridden heart. Hey Jess, I've got something for you. Ta-da! Babe, yes, thank you. I honestly couldn't tell if my hints were too subtle. Give it here, babe. Oh. Mike! No! The screen is broken! Hold your horses, babe. Look, it's a Christmas miracle! Kelly and Chelsea are the type of friends that are joined at the hip. They do everything together. Clean, study, go grocery shopping. And today, they're making Christmas cards. Well, half Christmas, half Valentine, because these cards are meant for their crushes. Aw, that's so sweet, girls. After all, it's those little personal touches that show others we were thinking of them, took the time, and actually care. A little sparkle. And now, for the big reveal. Let's see who the girls are crushing on. For Mike. For Mike. Uh-oh, looks like these girls are joined at the heart, not just at the hip. Kels? Chels? Hey, Mike! Merry Christmas! Wait, no. This is for you. Sorry, Kelly. Mike's spending Christmas with me. Don't worry. You'll need someone else you can do everything with eventually. Whoa. Is that for me? What is it? Man, who needs Santa when there's Kira? Oh. I can't wait to see what's inside. A jar of nothing? <laughs> yup, smells like nothing too. Well, Kira, you're the Santa of getting someone's hopes up all right. Though the weather outside is frightful, everything inside is delightful. Hon, I've got a surprise for you. Will you marry me? At least that's what Ashley heard in her head. Hon, I've got a present for you. Merry Christmas. Aw, oh, honey, you didn't even have to wrap it up. Seriously, why is there so much packaging here? Looks like Ashley rightly worried about the size of that package. And Ben, she definitely wasn't dreaming of becoming your personal master chef. Holiday parties always require extra primping because everyone seems to go all out. Jess, is that mascara? Must be the new holiday edition. Can I try it out? Get your own, Kira. You can't share mascara. No, I don't want to get pink eye. Do you think I'm some kind of pink eyed leper? Kira, I'm serious. Mascara isn't meant to be shared. Plus, that was just regular mascara. Take this lip gloss and we'll give your makeup a holiday makeover. Grab your plain old mascara and your trusty glue gun. 
and go to town making your new icicle. Make sure you give the glue a couple seconds to set in between the coats. Now dip it into some cold water. And make sure it still opens, otherwise you'll just have a new ornament for your tree. A quick little paint job. And some glitter. Now grab a plastic Christmas ornament and that lip gloss. Hold the gloss against the ornament and poke some holes in the plastic. Heating up your puncturing device will make things a lot easier. Just make sure you're careful. Cover the lid in glue. Paint with some clear nail polish. Pour on the glitter. And add just a bit more Christmas spirit. Now just close the lid and glue it to your Christmas ornament, exercising your utmost glue gun control. These make great presents for friends and family, so go ahead and make a couple while you've still got your arts and crafts tools out. Now that's the spirit, girls. Merry Christmas! Kira is gonna love her Christmas presents. Mike, is this for me? So sweet of you not to hold a grudge after that little jar of nothing incident. You've always been such a good sport. Wow, I seriously don't know what to say. Kira, have you ever heard that expression? <laughs> when you assume you make an ass out of you, and me. Shut up and let me wallow in peace. Ash, Merry Christmas. Thank you, darling. Now close your eyes. This is for you. Oh, wow. That sure is creative wrapping. But how am I supposed to open this? If you've got an eager beaver in your life and you want to teach them a lesson on delayed gratification, you'll be needing some lock ties. Make sure you hide those scissors after you're done. Check out those skills. We're not just playing a cruel prank here. Well, maybe we are, but that doesn't mean it can't be well designed. Jess, I think it's time to go looking for those scissors. Because what you've got going on here ain't happening. Well, if you don't know what to do, taking a nap works too. Hey, Charles, what are you up to? More last minute decorating with a Christmas rope? And some snow spray? Wait a second, this is all looking a little bit too elaborate for simple Christmas decorations. What are you really up to? Are you getting Kelly back for making Mike a Christmas card? Or Mike for, well, being Mike? Is it Ashley for hogging the bathroom? Or Zoe for always eating your food? Oh, hey, Zoe. I would reconsider your snack swiping tendencies if I were you. Merry Christmas, Zoe. Seriously, I think getting your own food should be your New Year's resolution. It's blooper time. Hit that subscribe button, share ideas for fun with your friends. And remember, it's never too early to get in the Christmas spirit.